This final drew an average crowd as football lovers converge at the Kampant Arena to witness a showdown between Kampant Village Junior Team and Batabotu Kantora Junior Team. Despite the poor pitch condition, the display between the two sides was amazing. Proof of the passion attached to the game was clearly manifested. Amid the challenges, the organizers put up a well-coordinated final that drew a great impression. I must commend the organizing committee. I think they did justice to the, to the final. The organization is very good and I'm impressed. Coming to the field also, the players are very disciplined in the game and they are playing their game as, as expected and it is very entertaining. This tournament was organized by ourselves without sponsor. Understand? We are, it was very hard for us even to get the referees to come and officiate the game was a problem for us. But we managed. No sponsors, no nothing. So we are depending on the money that the teams contribute to make sure that we run the tournament successfully. So what I'm urging is a philanthropy or somebody can come and sponsor the league the next time for us, it will be very helpful for us. And these were the reasons organizers advanced for staging such a tournament. The reason or the objective of us organizing um, this tournament, especially into this um, category of genius, is to reunite um, Fonyi people through sports. That is our first priority. And then secondly, we always give the edge to the, to the senior players that normally represent us during our now time. Forgetting that uh, the junior ones can also produce serious talents who can be graduated to the senior level. So this is why we come up with this in his, in his initiative to, 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 to come up with this tournament. And I can guess it's very eye-catching when you look at what the young ones are also producing. So we are grateful. In 1996, I could recall, I was the first one who started the Navetan in Biam with people like Amul and the others. So from there then, I then just went down. Then the Navetan continues in Pony Kangsala. So I thank God I did something in sports. So I thank God that, alhamdulillah, still now sports is recognized in Pony. This was a day for a champion to be crowned, and a champion was crowned. It took the regulation time and penalty shootout before separations could be made. It was a tightly contested affair between Kampan Village in blue and Batabutu Kantora in white. Batabutu Kantora took 15 minutes to be on the ascendancy when Ensa Kamara capitalized on his set-piece delivery to send the visitors into celebrations. Oh, what have we just seen? Can you explain how, 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 how? Despite trailing, the supporters of the home side never surrendered, and they soon had their moment of celebration when Kampant equally relied on a set-piece to level matters before the break through Faburama Kamara. It appears the strength of the two sides was on set pieces. Anytime it is delivered into the box, it looks threatening. Kampan came close with some beautiful exchange of passes and they nearly penetrated Batabutu, but they squandered. On the opposing end, Batabutu failed to capitalize on a goalkeeping error to decide the contest within the regulation time as they had a goal bound at them cleared of the line and these two sides headed into penalties after a one hole draw. Kampan's goalkeeper was outstanding in between the frame, making two crucial saves <laughs> to earn his side a 3-1 win in the shootout. We played last year a uh, final against Arangalen. Uh, we won a, a trophy and we are now here at Kampan. We also won a trophy. Uh, this is a team that was formed at around 20, uh, 2022. We take it in good faith. It's part of football. It's a game. That is how we call Football is part of it. There must be a loser and a winner. And I'm impressed with my boys. They did what they can do. Finally, Kampan got to the end of their hard work as they were crowned new champions of the Junior Championship. Farmer Abad, GRTS News.